Good evening. Always great to chat to you. So the State Capture Commission has called for a two-year jail sentence for defying them. But it seems it may be a bit of a stick to try and force him back to the commission. Is that a, quite an unprecedented move? Sally, good evening. Good evening to the viewers at home. Um, these are quite trying times for former President Zuma. Um, look, there, there is an issue that relates to the Zondo Commission. There is an issue now in Pichamari's back. And obviously, um, he, he has got a very tight schedule. But I think also when you, when you come back to the issue of the commission, um, I think I see the commission as, uh, as, an, as an institution that is trying to stamp its authority, but also at the same time to make an insistence that in South Africa we are all equal before the law and uh, there is no law for those uh, mm. that, uh, that occupy higher positions and for ordinary citizens. And I think for me also, it sends a good message to all of us that whatever position you occupy in society or whatever position you might have occupied before, when it comes to the law, you have to be treated equally. And I'm actually not surprised with what uh, the commission has actually done because that is the application of the mm -hmm. law, which is not supposed to be done as, uh, uh, separately or we should not uh, be done looking at who is the individual that is implicated. At the same time, tea with Zuma is all the rage at the moment. What do you make of the police minister's visit this past Thursday? He arrived in an official police vehicle. Isn't it a little problematic, given that Zuma is facing a corruption trial, for the police minister to go and visit him? It, 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 it might, but uh, I think it also depends. Um, the minister is from KwaZulu Natal, he's a member of the ANC, and um, obviously has got relations with former President Zuma. Whatever discussions that uh, Kaele and Zuma might have, would uh, obviously would have to touch on the, politi on the politics or, or on what is, supposed to, what is happening in society. But uh, look, uh, former President Zuma is quite vulnerable now. And uh, everybody who cares about him or everybody who wants to see something happening progressively would also want to go and have a discussion with him. Um, the, the discussions, obviously, between Kaila and Zuma had to touch on the commission and maybe was trying to reason with him or to show him the importance of him going to appear at the commission. Now, the biggest question, Sally, that most people would be asking would be, did Kaila go there in his capacity as an individual or as a minister um, or what? Uh, for me, I think he might have gone there in all capacities. Mm -hmm. uh, he's a minister of police uh, who also wants to ensure that um, things have to be done in a particular way. But he's also a comrade of former President Zuma. Maybe he was trying to reason with him only at that level. Mm. I'm wondering, um, it, it seems a stroke of pure irony this past weekend. Zuma, in an online meeting, said the law... Uh, was going too easy on criminals. This is a man himself facing corruption charges. So I'm wondering what his motive is in saying something like that. After all, he is known as a very astute politician. Well, I think also it's important to note that um, our constitution emphasizes rights. And I think also at the same time, former President Zuma is trying to say that there has to be a balance between the rights and also the application of the law. Uh, indeed, I, I tend to agree with former President Zuma that the laws of this country seem to favor uh, the victims. It favors the perpetrators versus the victims. Mm -hmm. But also, if our laws were very, very tough on criminals, we would have had a lot of people arrested for corruption in South Africa. And if you hear the manner in which politicians and ordinary citizens talk about corruption, one would have expected our law enforcement agencies to have acted swiftly when it comes to corruption. And unfortunately, that is not the case. On Friday, Minister Kaila provided the stats for uh, uh, criminal activities in South Africa. And that raised a lot of concerns that gender-based violence is it's, it's, it's mm. also on the increase 
and a number of other criminal activities. And that to me says that maybe our law enforcement agencies has to relook at how they do their things because the community continues to be worried. Quick response, gut feel from you. Do you think the threat of a two-year jail sentence will be enough to get the former president to come before the State Capture Commission? Well, I think that will be enough if you look at his age and also uh, if you only have to look at the, uh, at the issue that relates to the equality before the law and the work that the commission has to, has to do. Uh, for me, that will be enough. But I think also that maybe former President Zuma would have to reconsider his position and assist South Africa and himself. Thank you so much for your views this evening. Levy and our politics and public policy lecturer at Swan University of Technology.